Hello, and welcome. Today, we are going to be doing one of the chillest videos you have ever seen in your entire life. So I want you to sit down right here, right next to me on this yoga mat, and we will be going through a wonderful spiritual adventure. So first of all, I want you to breathe in. And now I want you to hold that breath as much as you can and as long as you can until you suffocate. So you can feel the pain I had to went through in my biology class. Hmm. Okay, so first of all, starting this off, I want to say that my biology teacher is doing the best she can and she's very nice. But there are some points in times that make me want to just leave the class after setting it on fire. After putting three gas cans in there. And locking the door on her. But I always enjoy the class and try my best to pay attention. And this took place a couple, a couple of weeks ago. Like back before Christmas. Well, when I'm recording this. So first of all, this is my biology class. And she, her name, we're just going to call her Miss Can Candle. Miss Candle. And... Thanks to her, we were learning about how water likes to go into low concentrated areas by putting a gummy bear in distilled water, then putting it into salt water. What this would do is once you put the gummy bear into the distilled water, the water would go into the gummy bear since it's less concentrated than the highly concentrated distilled water. And that isn't what bothers me here. What bothers me is what consumes afterwards. Afterwards... You, so, first of all, the gummy bear's mass is, she had it at zero grams, which is impossible in the first place. But then, when you put in the distilled water, it became seven grams. And you had to find the percentage difference. And you did this by taking the newer number, minusing it by the original number, dividing by the original number, and timesing by 100. And that is the correct equation. But... Common sense felt like jumping out the window that day because what happened was that you had to do 7 divided by 0. And dividing by 0 is impossible. So anyone with a common sense would make it so that the first mass is something that would be a possible number. You would think, nope. So when you do that equation, 7 minus 0, 7, 7 divided by 0, let's just say for the sake of it, instead of getting 0, you would get a 7 still. And then 7 times 100, 700% increase, which is physically impossible. So then 700% would basically be the equivalent of infinity. So I put that down. She said that was wrong. Then I put down over 100% increase. She said that was wrong. And I said, you do realize that you can't divide by zero. And I am trying my best here. Please. And then she responds, well, I'll check that. And then when I go back to the main call instead of the work page, guess what I see? I see her with a calculator in hand doing the math. And... You cannot describe how satisfied I was with that. Because I just had to teach my teacher how you can't divide by zero. And I proved her wrong with the one sentence. And then at the end of class, she said, Well, someone pointed out that you can't divide by zero. I'm sorry for making you write that down. You won't have to redo your work. Bull crap. Next day strolls along. I finish my graphing table, my data table. And then I write down the rest of my data, start work on the rest of the project, and then she shows up in the little chat bubble again. Hey, Logan, your data's wrong. And I said, yeah, I know, I pointed it out to you yesterday, and you said I didn't have to change my data. And she said, yeah, but can you put down the proper data? And so I had to go back and change my data table and all my data back to the new thing. And that was ridiculous. I didn't even get extra credit on it or anything for that. I just got graded a harsher. Uh, uh, that was fun. That was, that was aggravating. 
So, hey guys, it's been a while. I know, school, I'm I'm not even going to cut slack. I've just been, I've been dying out here with no ideas and being lazy. I, Minecraft's taken over my soul, same with Fortnite. They're slowly taking the little chunks of my life away. But, don't worry, I'm still here. I'll make it up with you guys. Here's some bloopers I saved. I saved a little special bloopers for you at the end of this. So, bye guys. It's been fun. And goodbye for the third time, because third time's the charm. And we were testing this by putting a gummy bear in first salt water. By putting a gummy bear in salt and distilled water. I, then I put up...